Hello my loves! In today's video I'll be painting an acrylic landscape of a magical sunset and cat-shaped clouds using some awesome art supplies from ArtKey which I'll be demoing and reviewing as well. I'm using their set of 24 acrylic paints which only costs around $20 and it comes with 24 beautiful colors, a cute little plastic palette, palette knives, and a few brushes. I'm also using an 8x10 inch art key canvas panel from their canvas panel pack which comes with 24 total panels ranging from sizes 5x7 inches up to 11x14 inches. These art supplies were a pleasant surprise especially considering their price range and I would say it's a great value for any beginner artist like me. If you're interested in picking up some of these awesome art supplies for yourself, my viewers are getting a special 20% off discount. All the links and discount code are listed in the video description. The colors I used for this piece are titanium white, crepe myrtle, rose, vermilion, lemon yellow, sky blue, prussian blue, and black. The great thing about the wide variety of colors this set offers is I don't have to do much paint mixing because I can pretty much find all the colors I need straight out of the tube. This is great news for me since I'm still a relative novice at acrylics and one of my biggest complaints about the medium is how fast the paint dries on the palette, which results in a lot of extra time spent mixing paint. But with this set of 24 colors to choose from, I only found myself ever needing to mix a maximum of two to three colors to Together to get the colors I need. And usually I can just layer the fresh unmixed colors together to achieve the desired outcome. All right, let's start on the painting time lapse. Real quick, if you would like to see a 30 minute tutorial of this video with instructional voiceover, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. To start the painting, I just mixed some crepe myrtle, which is the light pastel pink color, with water and used it to lay down the basic shapes of my composition. Then I applied Prussian blue using the same technique to further refine the composition of the dark sunset and clouds shaped light kitties. I thinned the paint with some water to make it more transparent for the far away clouds and applied thicker layers of paint for the foreground clouds. This helps establish atmospheric perspective and just gives the painting a nice kind of dreamy, blurry, faded look. Now I'm adding touches of lemon yellow mixed with vermilion to introduce some warm yellows and oranges into this predominantly cool painting. And like before, I first thin the paint with water to apply a semi-transparent wash to test out the colors and placement. And then I gradually decrease the amount of water I use so that the paint can get thicker and thicker, slowly working my way towards layering pretty much paint straight out of the tube with no water mixed in. When it came time to apply the paint thickly, I was delighted by the thick coverage of the paint. If I didn't mix the paint with any water, I could paint a lighter color on top of a darker color and cover it perfectly with one brush stroke. Usually with the more economically priced acrylic paints, the pigments are not as dense and it takes several layers of paint to achieve this level of opaque coverage that Art Keys paints can cover using only one pass. And the paint stayed wet on my palette a lot longer than other acrylic brands I've tried, so that also helped in both not wasting time and not wasting the paint, because I didn't have to squeeze out more paint or continuously mix paint. It would stay relatively wet long enough for me to apply several passes before I had to remix colors. Working with acrylics is vastly different from oils, which I'm more used to. With oils, the paint stays wet for a long time and I have a large window to blend the paint to achieve a soft, smooth look. And with acrylics, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get that soft blended aesthetic due to the fast drying time of the paint. But as I worked on this piece more and more, I realized I could utilize the fast drying speed of acrylics to my advantage. So instead of trying to blend the paint while it was wet, I pretty much just let the paint dry, which was pretty much instantly, and I could continuously glaze the painting, applying some layers of orange, then maybe some layers of green, then maybe some layers of blue. And this way, with thinning the paint with water and applying several semi-transparent layers on top of each other, 
uh, they can kind of average out to create a smooth gradient and transition, which gives the piece not only a nice smooth blended aesthetic, but it also creates a lot of luminous depth in the color. So let's say I want to make a brownish color. Instead of trying to mix brown on the palette, I could just first apply some blue, then apply touches of red, then apply touches of orange, and then green until um, all those semi-transparent layers merge together to create the effect of brown. So this way, it was like the most satisfying part of oil painting, which is glazing. But instead of having to wait until the final layer to do that, I got to glaze the entire time. And it was actually quite fun. This experience also taught me that you don't have to be a pro at every single type of painting medium. There are so many options out there. And even though they seem vastly different, I realized that Sometimes certain painting skills are transferable between different mediums. And regardless of what you use, painting is just fun in general. Overall, this acrylic experience went a lot more smoothly than usual. Normally, I'm not a fan of acrylics, but these supplies were of such high quality, especially for their price, that I enjoyed painting for the first time in a while using acrylics. So I highly recommend all beginner artists to check out Art Keys acrylics and other art supplies and let me know what you think. And that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Art Key for letting me try out your awesome supplies and for supporting my channel and the art community. Once again, all the links to the supplies as well as a 20% off discount code are listed in my video description. If you're interested in adopting this painting, it's now available in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And of course, you guessed it, my eternal never-ending sale is still going on in my shop. So if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.